Salesforce for the construction industry emphasizes our ability to communicate with contractors, subcontractors, specialty contractors, and general contractors. Uh, through Experience Cloud, and what we're looking at right here is a job management collaboration portal to manage jobs, invoicing against those jobs, as well as to see all of the projects and jobs that we're working on and our invited bids that we've been invited to respond to, as well as those that we have submitted already. So if I just scroll down here, what we can see right away is the ability to add time against any given project. So if we come to add, if I search a task, so this could be, you know, rough plumbing, give that a second and then let's do, yeah. So I'll add that there and then put eight hours and click save. What this is going to do is it's going to tie it to that day and we'll be able to see this representation right here. Now, if we click go to timesheet, what that allows us to do is put in at a weekly level. So I can just look up my tasks and then add time against it here. So I can add seven there, save entry. And what that's going to do is that's going to bring all that information back into Salesforce. So if we come back over here to the left hand side, we can see what to do today and we have no tasks overdue, but we could also see what is overdue. So we get an understanding of when it was first calculated to be overdue and really what we need to have complete. Again, we have just a little bit more information over here as well. And so if we were to click on this, or if we come over here and we view our jobs in progress, we're able to drill down into any of our projects as well as see what is still in motion, what percentage complete, what tasks are overdue, and the estimated time there. So if I click on this, what it will do is it'll bring me to this page. So this is really your master hub for understanding what is affecting the project. What are the baselines here? So if I come to baseline, and let's just say I set a new baseline for today, what that does is it allows me to see where the differentiations are happening, where we're off track or where we're ahead of schedule. So I can put that in place today. And if, you know, in a few days I have to extend this, what this allows me to do is it allows me to see if I move this window and door escalation, how does that affect the rest of the project? And you can see it throws us off a little bit. Now, in addition to this, I can understand who's on my team. So I can understand the users. I can understand, you know, any files that are associated. And over here is the team. So this allows me to just get a great visualization of everything that I'm working on as a contractor. So again, I'm working outside of the organization, but I am able to be able to see this information um, and I can have restricted access here. I also am able to see more of a calendar view of the activities that need to be completed and then a spreadsheet view as well. So very much um, able to be flexible here able to see several different views. Now coming back over here, we can see invited jobs as well as submitted bids. So these are going to be, you know, potential projects that I might take up in the future or jobs. Now, what we've got over here due to Salesforce automation is the ability to submit an invoice against jobs I already have. So what I can do is I can search for the account invoice amounts, invoice date, project, so we'll do the building maintenance plan. Perfect. And then invoice dates, you know, we'll make it the 20, we'll make it uh, the 19th. Then click next, and then I'm just going to put in the billing context. So I'll just put in my name. Put in that billing email. 
master solve. And then we'll click next. And then payment terms, we'll do a net 30. Payment method, we'll do ACH and click next. And from there, we've completed that. And we will be able to see that over here in our list view. If I click all, we can see that that just submitted directly into Salesforce. So because of the power of Experience Cloud and because it is a lens into Salesforce, we're able to see all of that in real time. There's no wait time there. So all the way from submitting your bids to invoicing against those jobs, to managing those jobs and your expectations there, you're able to do all that through the power of Experience Cloud for construction contractors.